series. It is day 46 or day 40 according to our Lent day count. That is if we remove Sundays from the Lent days of fasting, today is day 40. But since we have been including Sundays in our Lent series, today makes day 46. Concerning today, every time we say the creed, we note that Jesus descended into hell. Holy Saturday is the day that commemorates this event. What happened to Jesus while he was dead? Scripture calls the abode of the dead to which Christ went down, hell. Sheol in Hebrew or Hades in Greek because those who are there are deprived of the vision of God. This is where Jesus descended, into hell, not to deliver the damned, nor to destroy the hell of damnation, but to free the just who had gone before him. However, there are no direct references in the canonical Bible to this and to what really Jesus did while the apostles and his family sat vigil. Despite this, the authors of the Apostles' Creed and the Athanasian Creed refer to this day as the harrowing day, when Christ, after his death, descended into hell to flee all the souls who had died since the beginning of the world, and to allow the trapped righteous souls to reach heaven. The stories originate in the apocryphal text, Gospel of Nicodemus, also known as the Acts of Pilate or the Gospel of Pilate, and are referred to in passing in several places in the canonical Bible. The Gospel according to Nicodemus, chapter 19, verse 11 to 12, says, Then the Lord, stretching forth his hand, made the sign of the cross upon Adam and upon all his saints, and taking hold of Adam by his right hand, he ascended from hell, and all the saints of God followed him. Thus, according to this gospel, today Jesus is in hell, saving the righteous souls who had gone before him. In the evening of today is Easter Vigil. What is Easter Vigil? A vigil is a liturgical commemoration of a notable feast held on the evening preceding the feast. The term comes from the Latin word vigilia, which means wakefulness, and which came to be used when the faithful stayed awake to pray and to do devotional exercises in anticipation of the feast. The full meaning of a vigil is awaiting for the coming of the Lord. What happens at the Easter Vigil? The Easter Vigil has four parts. One, the service of the light and the Easter proclamation. Outside of the church, the blessing of the new fire is done, whose flames should be such that they are genuinely dispelling the darkness and lighting up the night. The Paschal candle, made of wax, is blessed to evoke the truth that Christ is the light of the world. The candle is the only source of light as people process into the church. Just as the children of Israel were guided at night by a pillar of the fire, so similarly, Christians follow the risen Christ. Lumen Christi, or the light of Christ, is proclaimed by the deacon or a priest as he enters the darkened church each year. As he chants this hopeful note, the newly consecrated burning Paschal candle is raised for all to see, and the people 
exclaim deo gracias meaning thanks be to god number 2 liturgy of the word which includes nine readings seven from the old testament and two from the new testament these readings give an account of the outstanding deeds of the history of salvation which the faithful are helped to meditate calmly upon by the singing of the responsorial psalm by a silent pause and by the celebrant's prayer after the readings from the old testament the hymn gloria in excelsis deo is sung the bells are rung the collect is recited and the celebration moves on to the readings from the new testament the alleluia is intoned three times before the gospel the proclamation of the resurrection of the lord part 3 liturgy of baptism even though there are no candidates for baptism baptismal water is blessed and the baptismal promises renewed the faithful are then sprinkled with water as a reminder of their own baptism part 4 the church is called to the liturgy of the eucharist to the table prepared by the lord for his church the commemoration of his death and resurrection until he comes again if i go for easter vigil mass on holy saturday do i still have to go to mass on easter sunday attendance at the easter vigil fulfills the obligation to attend mass on easter sunday the vigil called traditionally the mother of all vigils is the highlight of the celebration of easter and indeed may be considered the principal liturgy of the church year the whole liturgical year leads up to and draws its meaning from the easter vigil although if you can you are encouraged to attend both you will realize that even the readings are different i wish you a blessed holy saturday and a fruitful celebration of easter vigil in the evening i also wish you a blessed easter as the lord rises from the dead may we rise with him to the new life which we have prayed for during this lent season i hope and pray that whatever we have learned from this lent series may touch you and me in one way or the other especially in understanding what lent period means and in the growth of our christian life and spiritual life we meet each other in other series especially in may where we shall be having merry series so stay close and we shall see you soon thank you very much god bless you